Mama June fans called Cast Out for overly bad acting. Despite the fact that Mama June is a reality show, viewers are criticizing the cast for their really poor acting. Although several parts have been shown to be staged, they have insisted that it is not scripted. What are fans saying about the program and its stars then? Continue reading for further information. Family Crisis and its predecessors are meant to be authentic. It is said that Mama June and her children's experiences are unscripted and pure. However, some people have acknowledged staging some instances. Josh Aford, Pumpkin's spouse, collaborated with Sugar Bear, the father of Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson. That, as it occurred, never really happened. Secondly, Pumpkin films in a production house rather than her actual residence. Although Eford's house is significantly smaller, they rent it out for the remainder of the season to accommodate the cast and crew. Fans are now paying much closer attention to the programs, and they are experiencing some issues. They believe that the actors are overreacting and that the cast is not real. There is a Reddit discussion discussing this. Even though everyone knows the show is scripted, the acting just keeps getting worse, each and every one of them. It makes me think of green and innovative news broadcasters. In an attempt to get their point across, they try to speak too quietly. Although Pumpkin's Kid Ella is not a horrible guy, the original poster felt that the boys were trying too hard to turn her into the next Honey Boo Boo. What additional comments did Redditors make? And did they concur? Yes, it's not nearly word for word scripted. However, every scenario and scene is produced. I concur that the acting is awful. It is quite strange. The plots and themes are not entirely made up, but every scenario and the way it is acted out is. Whoa, I'm viewing that right now. This is so scripted. I just cried. Poor white trash grifters don't seem to be very talented. How does it work? Viewers are becoming increasingly interested in learning how this all works because Pumpkin and her family don't even reside in their actual home. If things doesn't go as planned, they're wondering if they have to reshoot certain scenes. After witnessing the most recent scenes, several fans also confess to feeling embarrassed for the cast. The extravagant nature of the performances is making them seem so fake and out of touch with reality. Do you think that because it seems so manufactured, the show has become unwatchable? Is Mama June's family too much to bear? Watch Family Crisis Fridays on WeTV and share your opinions with us in the comments section down below. After going on a drug binge with Gino Doak, June Shannon checked herself into treatment. She maintains a journal, but she later throws away the life lessons she wrote down. The Mama June Family Crisis actress feels qualified to offer guidance to those who face life's challenges, likely because she has experienced a great deal. June Shannon critics suspect drug use. WeTV viewers asserted that they think the Mama June, Family Crisis star, is abusing drugs despite her recovery experience after she started dating Justin Stroud. She most likely suffered greatly after her daughter Anna Cardwell passed away from stage 4 cancer. Hopefully that isn't the case. Thus, she may have used journaling as a coping mechanism to get through her days. June Shannon battled with her family's rejection, and it took her some time to overcome her drug usage. Mama June, Road to Redemption chronicled her gradual come to terms with leaving her family. Maybe she was struggling to maintain her sobriety and her pain and guilt drove her to write in her notebooks. Did you know that she seems to have struggled with that almost her entire life? Keeping a journal, sort of. People magazine met with Justin Stroud's wife this week regarding journaling. She acknowledged in the interview that she doesn't maintain them as frequently as she formerly did. When she does, though, she discards them. The fact that the Wii TV actress writes her journals on her phone may intrigue you if you are an ardent admirer. I jot down in my notes what was on my mind that day. On some days, after crying about it, I would simply delete it. It's okay if you want to journal, but you have to destroy it every day. For when you refer back to that journal, 
you will simply revert to your previous state of thinking from that period. She also advises people to continue writing about the issues that are bothering them. However, her recommendation is to tear it up or simply delete it from the phone if it's written down. I do it every once in a while, but I promise you it lets so much stress just off your body, the Mama June Family Crisis star added. Dumping or keeping life's lessons? Like the Wee Tee star, the Ashley Treatment Organization promotes writing, but they also think it's beneficial to look back and analyze the highs and lows. It also has benefits. Journaling is a great way to make goals, whether they be for your life, your business, your recovery, or your fitness. Journaling on the recent past can be therapeutic, but it can also be exciting to make goals and record the steps necessary to achieve them. What do you think of June Shannon finishing her journaling and then throwing it away? Do you believe that her discarding life's lessons is a bad thing? Or perhaps you can identify with reverting to a previous mindset and realizing that it's best to let it go. Please share your thoughts in the space provided below and return here for all your. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, America Trends 24, and stay with us.